Oh, I remember this day. It was so much fun. Oh, and look how handsome he was. I wasn't too bad either. Hey, Grandma, what you doing? Oh, hi, kids. I'm just looking at some old photos, you know, of me and your grandfather. Of you and George? No, honey, your other grandfather. Your dad's father. But isn't George going to be upset that you're looking at photos of your old husband? Oh, no, of course not. These are important memories to me. And memories are meant to be shared. I've talked to George a lot about your grandfather. He likes to hear some of the stories. Especially when your father and uncle were younger. Oh, wow, that's nice that you share those memories with George. Of course. Your grandfather was a very big part of my life. And your father's. But just because he's gone doesn't mean that he's not still a part of our lives every day. Ricardo family, remembering dad. This video is dedicated to you, Toby Lees, and your dad. We believe that he's still watching with you, and we hope you enjoy it. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Don't miss any of our videos. Click the Little Monkey logo to go to our channel page. Click on videos to watch them all. Subscribe to our channel, it's free. Don't forget to check out our Instagram at little underscore monkey underscore media to leave a comment or suggestion for future videos. Grandma, I feel kind of bad. We never got to meet Grandpa. He passed away before we were born, right? Oh, Jasmine, honey, yes he did. And yes, I'm sorry that you never got to meet him. I think you really would have liked him. He's a lot like your dad, but he's an adventurer like your Uncle John. Do you think he would have liked us? Of course he does. He loves you too. Wait, what? But we've never met him. How could he love us? Because you're part of his family and he loves his family. <gasps> Johnny, you know what I just realized? What's that, Jasmine? That dad doesn't have a dad. I never thought of that. Yeah, you're right. And and we've never asked him about him. Well, we better go fix that. Thanks, Grandma. Maybe later you could tell us some more stories about you and Grandpa and when uh, Dad and Uncle Amazon John were kids. I would love to do that. Anytime you guys would like to know any of the memories that I have, I would be happy to share them. All right, cool. But first, we gotta go talk to Dad. Now, oh, I remember this day. Oh, I love this photo. Oh, I miss you, dear. But I know that you're happy that our family has turned out so wonderful. Dad, we're, we're really sorry. Hmm, hey guys. Wait, what are you sorry for? What did you break? Uh, nothing this time. We just, we were talking to Grandma, and she was remembering Grandpa. Yeah, but not Grandpa George. Grandpa, Grandpa, your dad. And, and we're sorry. We never ask about him. It must be really hard for you, now that you don't have a dad. Wait, what do you mean I don't have a dad? Well, because he passed away. <laughs> Yes, he passed away, but he's still my dad. He'll always be my dad. That's kind of like what Grandma said. She said that even though he's gone, he's still a part of your life. Exactly, and he always will be. He'll always be my dad, no matter how old I get. But you don't get to see him. No, you're right, I don't, but I still talk to him. What? You talk to him? Yeah, almost every day. I like to tell him what's going on in my life. Really? Like what? Well, like anything. You know, if I'm having a bad day at work, or if something really good happened. Really? Yeah, I like to share things with him. Like the day you guys were born. I told him all about how the two of you came into this world, and how cute you guys were. I know he really would have been happy about that. Same thing with Grace. And then when Becky had the babies, he was all about family. So I know it would have made him happy. And it makes me happy to tell him about you guys. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And then sometimes, if I'm having a really rough day, those are the days when I ask him for advice. Does he, does he talk back to you? Not like the way that we're talking. But there were a few times when something really bad happened and I didn't know what to do. So I was just kind of like, well, Dad, now what? And guess what? What? An answer would pop into my head. Like it came from nowhere. But I know it came from my dad. Really? Like, like when? Like what? <sighs> Well, you know when my toaster burnt down our old house? Yep, kinda can't forget that day, Dad. Well, I was really struggling with that and not knowing what to do next. I kinda shook my head and I was like, Dad, I really don't know what to do. And, and then what? What did Grandpa tell you? It's not so much what he told me, but I kinda got this calm feeling over me. Like, like I was getting a big warm hug. And then after that, 
I kind of felt like everything was going to be okay. <gasps> and they were. They were okay. Yeah, it was hard at first for sure, but I think everything's turned out pretty good. That's kind of cool, Dad. Do you think that he'd be okay if we tried to talk to him? I think he would love it. I really think he would have liked you guys. He had a really good sense of humor. Yeah, what, what was he like, Dad? Why don't you guys come sit up here and we'll have a little chat about my dad. Okay. All right, so you want to know about my dad? Yeah, we do. Yeah, you said he had a good sense of humor? <laughs> he had a great sense of humor. We used to laugh a lot. There was a few times, I can't really remember what it was, but I thought for sure I'd get in trouble for something, and he'd end up just smiling and just laughing and shaking his head at me. Like, like for what? Oh, I got one. <laughs> Well, one time I thought, hey, I'll be a big boy and do my own laundry. What I didn't know was that my laundry consisted of a red sweater, and I just happened to put that in with my dad's white dress shirts. Oh no, don't tell me. Yep, everything came out pink. And he didn't get mad at you? No. Well, I definitely think he was annoyed, but I'm pretty sure he realized I was trying to be a little bit independent, and he said he was happy that I tried. And the next day for work, he laughed when he put on his pink dress shirt. Really? <laughs> That's kind of cool that he still wore them. Yep, things like that. And one of my favorite things to do with my dad was cook. He used to cook like you do? Yep, he's the one that taught me. Did he teach you how to make your buttery toast? The one and the same. It's a secret family recipe. Dad, can you teach me to do that one day? Me too. Don't forget about me. I want to learn the secret family recipe that came from Grandpa. <laughs> you bet, guys. I'd love to pass down that tradition to you. I think he'd be happy about that. Dad. It must have been really hard when he passed away. Wasn't wasn't he sick for a little bit? Yeah, he was. That was that was a hard part. And then when he passed, that was even harder. I honestly didn't think that that would be possible. And it was really hard at first. I just tried to live my life in a way that I know he'd be proud of me because I know that he would want me to be the best person that I can be. And after a little bit of time, things got a little bit better. But I wish that he could be here sometimes. Like, it'd be nice if he was here for birthdays. Of course it'd be nice to have him here for all the big things. But you know what, guys? I know that he's here in spirit. Because even though he's not here in person, I still know that he knows that I've found joy and love and I have blessings in my life. Really? Like what? Like you guys. My whole family. I'm surrounded by people I love. Just like my dad was. So I feel like he'd be really proud of me. And that makes me feel good. Like a big warm hug, right? Exactly. My dad did like to give hugs. That is something that I do miss a lot though. But it's okay to miss it. And it's okay to miss my dad because I love him. But it doesn't matter where I go or what I do, my dad is always with me. Just like no matter what happens, I will always be with you. Yep, my dad was quite a guy. Thanks for telling us a bit about him, Dad. I kind of feel like I know him now. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry if it made you a little bit sad. No, honey, not at all. It's been a little while now. I'm not sad. I miss him, but it always feels good to talk about him. So thank you guys for asking me about him. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. But like I said, I do miss his hugs. They were great. Well, you know what, Dad? What's that, buddy? We like hugs too. Yeah, group hug! <laughs> well, all right. Group hug! Oh, thanks guys. Just like my dad gave. Anytime, dad. Anytime. You bet. Yep, anytime. So, dad. Yes, honey? I think we should honor your dad by you making us all some buttery toast. <laughs> now that is something that your grandfather would have laughed at. But you got it. Buttery toast coming up. Yeah, then maybe you can tell some more stories when you're a kid. Yeah, with you and Uncle Amazon John and Grandma and Grandpa. Like, what would you guys do for fun? Yeah, what was something else that you love to do with your dad? Well, Dad, John, and I used to like to have a big breakfast on Saturday mornings and then we'd watch cartoons all morning. Even Grandpa? Yep. Know what his favorite cartoon was? No. What? He-Man! What? Really? Yep. He loved it. And so did we. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, totally awesome. Hey, can we do that this Saturday too, please? Sure. I haven't watched He-Man in years. I wonder if it's as good as I remember. And a big breakfast too. How about you guys help me make the breakfast? That'd be fun. Really? Yeah. I want to learn how to make eggs and buttery toast. Yep. Speaking of that toast, you still going to make us some, Dad? <laughs> yeah, I'll make you guys some. After I get the phone. Come on, Johnny. Let's go sit with Grandma and get her to tell us more stories about Grandpa. Sounds good. I get that phone. Come on. Hello, Ricardo residence, Rick speaking. Oh, hey, John. Hey, your ears must have been ringing. We were just talking about you. <laughs> 
all good things, I swear. We're just talking about dad. Yep, good memories for sure. What are you guys up to? Oh, you wanna come for a visit? Um, when were you thinking? Tomorrow? But, and you need to stay with us? But, I didn't get a chance to tell you. Becky and Jason in the, what? You're on your way? You're already at one of the airports? <sighs> We would love to have you, John. Can't wait to see you and Lizzie tomorrow. I guess we'll find somewhere to put you. Yep, okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Oh no. This is gonna be one full house. <gasps> And this photo here was the time that we went to a renaissance fair. Your grandfather was so handsome. Oh, Grandma, I love your dress. You look so pretty. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know you guys did that. Oh, yes. Your grandfather loved to try new things. He was very adventurous. Just like Uncle Amazon John. Oh, yes. Definitely like his father that way. Johnny, look at the next picture. Grandpa is wearing a pink shirt. Oh, yes, that was the day your father tried to do laundry. <laughs> yeah, we know. Dad just told us. It's a pretty funny story, Grandma. I still can't believe that Grandpa didn't get mad at him. Oh, no. Your grandfather thought it was quite funny. That man had a lovely smile. Warms my heart just to think about it. Is that, is that you on a motorcycle? And then Grandpa's on a motorcycle? Oh, yes. We took a trip across the country before I had the kids. It was very fun. It was a lovely way to see the country. Whoa, Grandma, I didn't know you knew how to ride a motorcycle. Yeah, I mean, you got your scooter, which is cool, but a motorcycle? Just because I'm a little bit older now doesn't mean that I didn't know how to have fun when I was younger. And besides, I still have fun. Grandma, you're the coolest. Wow, I learned from your grandfather. Mom, just got a call from John. How wonderful, dear. How is he? He's great, but I'm not. Whatever is the matter, dear. Well, they're coming for a visit. They are awesome. I love Uncle Amazon John and Lizzie. Yeah, me too. When are they coming? They're coming tomorrow. Tomorrow! <sighs> we have so many people in our house already. Where are we going to put them? And I got to go grocery shopping. I got to call Lucy. Where are they going to sleep? You know... This is just like the time when your grandfather's cousins came for an unexpected visit. Oh, really? How many? Ten. Ten of his cousins came for a visit. Ten? They just showed up? Oh, yes. We had just gotten married and we were living in a tiny apartment. We had so many people that your grandfather ended up sleeping in the bathtub. <laughs> the bathtub? <laughs> That's kind of funny. When it comes to family, you just have to figure things out. And you know what? We did. And it was a fabulous time. I was so stressed out and worried, but your grandfather was cool as a cucumber. And there's definitely days where if I get stressed out, I think of him. And I calm right down. That's kind of what Dad said, too. Well, thanks for sharing these memories, Grandma. Yeah, this is great. Can we look at the photos later? Of course. Anytime you want to look at the photos, you just take the photo album. Jasmine. Yeah, Johnny? I think we gotta be like Grandpa. Family's coming and we gotta figure it out. Yeah, let's go help Dad. That is a wonderful idea. I know your father would love the help. Come on, Johnny. Let's go help Dad. Yep. Dad, we're coming to help. That's great. One of you might have to sleep in the bathtub. Ooh, ooh, I'll do it. Oh, dear. This definitely would have been something that he would have laughed at. Oh, another memory in the making. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for monkey and the little monkey logo to go to our channel page click on videos to watch them all